guys, James here with Reptile Gems. Uh, I know it's been a really long time since we've done a video. Things have been crazy over here. Uh, we're here to tell you what's been going on and how things have been progressing and different steps that we've done and changed paths a little bit. So, so 2020 has been crazy, as we all know, um, with COVID it's it's really changed things um, especially in the reptile world our last reptile show um, as most of you know reptile shows we haven't been able to do them since covid uh, was in march um, it was the san luis obispo show in california uh, it was a great show we uh, shared a booth with our good friends uh, dean and michelle from dean's reptiles and rodents and also uh, jeff kelly and tori from el segundo pythons as you guys can see this isn't a ball python. So this is a Phantom Sunfire Tiger Golden Child retic female. Her name is Anoxuna Moon. All our retics here, we give, uh, we were doing Egyptian names and then uh, it kind of changed. Uh, we got a few, which we'll get into that here shortly. But really love these guys. Um, got a few more. Uh, got some from uh, El Segundo, of course. Uh, if you guys are looking for retics, Jeff Kelly El Segundo is super helpful. Um, he's really been a mentor with me, um, getting into the species a little bit more, diving in a little bit, and uh, taking the next step about breeding them, hopefully in the next year or so. So our uh, big platinum tiger head anthrax girl, she's uh, she's getting big. So uh, that'll be fun. That'll be a new adventure. So looking for retakes, definitely hit up uh, Jeff Kelly at El Segundo. Uh, a couple other people we've dealt with is uh, Jim Jolly. Uh, Jim's House of Retix, uh, great guy, uh, great animals. Um, we have a tiger pied from him, uh, head albino, uh, male. Uh, female will be coming here shortly. Uh, we're waiting for him to produce one. That'll be fun. Love the pied retic projects. Not huge on the ball python uh, pieds. I like them, but for something about, you know, a giant constrictor that, uh, you know, is that pie and that white and patterns and says so they're just amazing so but so yeah so we picked her up at the slow shows our last show uh, my wife katie didn't go with me on that one uh, she was pregnant and uh with our son jameson which is one of the big reasons why we haven't been really active on uh, youtube is because he was born uh, about a week and a half early and between working at home and taking care of him and the collection and answering everybody's emails and stuff uh, on our morph market page we've just uh, we've been slammed uh, the days go by so fast i can't even keep up with uh what's going on and that's that's the biggest thing is is just trying to maintain the animals keep them healthy you know keep them breeding um, so we can offer you guys animals um and as well keep our son entertained and keep him fed and you know happy so after that show um you know we had big hopes for this year uh we hit 19 clutches in uh 2020 and uh that was good um not a lot of people know but our first year uh we hit nine clutches and then i worked at a job um uh, Schwab, that i worked like six days a week some weeks um you know to almost 12 hour days some days I didn't have time to really focus on the breeding and you know uh putting animals together and you know breeding plan i just i had enough time to keep them healthy keep them fed you know keep them clean of course um falls in the healthy category as well um that's all that was important to me um so this year um as some of you guys know um i changed fields i'm actually uh actually not this year last year it was one of the reasons why i was able to do 19 clutches is i uh Change fields. I'm actually doing, uh, I'm a solar consultant now with uh, power. Um, love it. Um, you know, I'm able to offer a great product, great pricing now, um, with a great warranty and power. You know, they've, you know, it's been, been a struggle in California this year um, with all the, you know, with COVID stuff and then all the fires that we've had in California. Um, you know, speaking of that, you know, Jeff Kelly, our friend, you know, that we got this girl from, uh, he bought a house and it literally the fire stopped the like across the road from his property. 
crazy. I mean, imagine that just, you know, finally buy your first home, you know, you're moving stuff in and a fire comes in. Um, luckily they didn't have any of the animals there. Uh, they hadn't moved anything yet and uh, the fire stopped. Thank God for their fire, for their firefighters in that area to kick butt, so that's cool. <laughs> so, you know, power in California, they're getting better. Uh, there, you know, there are times now uh, for installs are going great. Um, I love them. You know, I'm, I'm not in the deal of, you know, trying to get as much as I can out of each project, you know, uh, money commission wise. Um, I just wanna make sure you get a great deal. Um, it's worth my time, worth your time. You know, great warranty, great service. It's what I'm all about. Um, so if you guys are interested in solar, I know it's a big thing, kind of off topic, um, but definitely reach out to me. Um, send me a message on here. Um, you know, send me a private message on our Facebook page. Um, and uh, I'll put all the links and stuff to our pages um, in the description on our videos now. That way it's easy for you guys to click on stuff and uh, get, get places to contact us or just to follow our content. But so that's been going really good. Um, our son, Jameson, was born um, May 2nd in 2020. We were really worried that I wasn't able to be able to be in the delivery room, but luckily I was able to. Um, our nurses at Kaiser uh, here in Modesto just killed it. Uh, there was one nurse, I, I can't remember her name, I was so tired, and this is the, you know, the adrenaline of your you know first kid come in, but uh, she rocked it. I mean, she was awesome. Uh, my wife really liked her and she really helped my wife you know get through the process with me as well uh so uh jameson um you'll see uh i'll try to put some uh videos and stuff but uh yeah i mean everything's going great um you know 2020 has been rough uh financially like most of everybody um luckily we had a lot of good people and supporters uh with the reptiles you know they helped us uh just get through the you know hard time uh, during this pandemic. If you're able to keep your head above water, um, you know so many families are uh, struggling and doing a lot worse. Uh, so I'm really fortunate um, for what we're able to be doing over here. So, and that's all you know. Thanks to you guys and the support and you know all our customers that uh, support us. But we got some good stuff to come. Really want to focus on uh, you know retakes, of course. <laughs> but we do have some ball pythons. Uh, as well you guys can see behind me we still have all our uh you know girls and stuff the big freedom breeder racks um great product you guys are looking for racks i know freedom breeder has been killing it lately uh you know they've been backed up you know crazy wait times you just gotta understand a lot more people ordering stuff you know it's with more people at home and more time on their hands now with the world changing and you know a lot of people doing work from home they have more time so they're you know investing in some animals and uh you know, just stuff for their friends and stuff to do or their family or, you know, however they want to uh, share this hobby. But so, but yeah, I still have those. Uh, we got into the Desert Ghost uh, project. Um, Desert Ghost is something that this year, everybody that knows me, I'm Desert Ghost, Desert Ghost, Desert Ghost. I'm going to do a video on the animals we have here. And our plans with them you know i don't want to hide nothing i want to be up front and show you guys what we got um, how we're doing what approaches we're taking and uh kind of hear your guys's feedback as well so, you know some projects that you guys are doing the knox and moves not gonna run for it here but uh i'm gonna set her back real quick in her uh enclosure and i'll be right back so the desert ghost game um super stoked about that uh we're gonna definitely take that uh some places um, I got a lot of ideas um, you know being online looking at different things uh, puzzle is another thing I know we're late on the project but there's there's a lot to do with it um, when I got started getting into Desert Ghost and the puzzle I talked to Justin at JKR and uh, he told me to buy Desert Ghost then he said go ahead and start getting them he goes if I was you start buying Desert Ghost and uh, I'm glad I did when I did because uh, I've seen you know prices are starting to go up uh, him and Ozzy, I'm sure, are gonna, you know, take that project and the puzzle project, you know, to the, you know, total new places. And I'm excited to see that and uh, kind of take it my way too. Puzzle's huge. Um, I really think that, um, you know, the the main, you know, recessive projects, you know, the pides, which I'm, I like pides. I'm just not. They don't 
you know, I don't open up a tub and see a pie and go, you know, whoa, you know what I mean? Like I do with Puzzle and Clown, um, Desert Ghost. Um, those are our three recessives here that we're really going to focus on. Um, we really want to get into Monsoon. Uh, Monsoon is something that I think is really cool. Uh, it's kind of, you know, like the, the granite kind of version of the Burmese Python. And uh, I love that, you know, just the pixelation. Uh, imagine, just imagine that with, you know, Desert Ghost, how do they interact with Clown, which I'm sure Justin will, you know, pop one of those off first, but can't wait to see that. Uh, that's exciting. So there's a lot of exciting things in the industry. Um, we've had, you know, like I said, in 2020, it's been really hard for a lot of people. And, uh, you know, if there's anything that we can do or videos we can make or, you know, stuff you guys want to see that uh, will help grow our channel, but also uh, show you guys things that you want to see about our collection. Uh, something I want to do is, you know, our supplies, you know, kind of what we do to run our collection. Uh, I'll put, you know, links down below where you guys can go and find the stuff that we use. Um, you know, that's a big part. Um, I started out with, uh, you know, finding somebody that I really liked on YouTube. It was uh, <laughs> Brian Barczyk, Justin Kaboka are two of the big ones that I started following right out of the gate uh, many years ago. And anything that they used or they did, I wanted to do it because they're big names. I trusted them. And so I kind of, you know, keep my animals the way that they did. So I want to try to do that here for you guys. Uh, go through, kind of show you what we use for bedding, what we use for racks. Of course, you guys can see that behind us. Um, talk about our incubator. Uh, we recently, or not recently, but in January <laughs> in 2021, uh, 2020, we got a... Um, Big Sea Serpents, 60-inch uh, incubator from Chris over at Sea Serpents. And, uh, you know, thank God he had them there when he did. Um, it was, you know, I didn't something that I didn't order previous, you know, before the show. He had an extra one. I was able to get it. Saved our season. I mean, it was unbelievable, perfect timing. Everything was, you know, was great. I previously have used those before. Um, honestly, I only had a little 24-inch uh, one. Loved it. So... Upgrade to the big one. Um, we currently have our first clutch of the year in the incubator. Uh, that was a pastel toffee bred to a toffino. Uh, anybody who knows us, we are big onto the toffee and uh, not so much the toffee anymore. Um, I kind of want to focus on candy and candino. I think they're, you know, toffee, candy, I think it's the same thing in my opinion. My candinos turn out way better than my toffees do or did. So I'm going to keep those, um, keep, you know, kind of go the Candino route. Uh, something really exciting that we're doing here. We had a Cypress Het Albino uh, paired up to our Candino girl. So that's, that's going to be fun. That's going to be a fun clutch and a fun project. I want to hopefully, fingers crossed, get a Cypress Candino. And uh, let's just say the Desert Ghost puzzle might get in there somehow. So uh, look forward to that. So... 2020 has been great. Um, the birth of my son, Jameson, has been a blessing. Um, you know, luckily he's healthy and everything's good. He's a happy little baby. Um, Katie and I are super happy uh, to have him in our life now. Can't imagine it, you know, any different. So um, 20's been, 2020 has been okay. Uh, hopefully 2021 is better. Hopefully this summer we can get back to shows so I can start seeing our customers and talking to people that we haven't seen in forever. I really miss those shows. Uh, there's a lot of breeders and stuff that we don't really get to see other than the, you know, those shows. So I'm hoping we can get together soon. Uh, hopefully the Pomona show in August. Um, excited about that. Um, there's a lot of good friends of ours that um, we really love to be able to connect with and see again. So to everybody watching, I hope you guys are blessed and everything's going great for you guys. Um, hopefully 2020 didn't kick you in the ass too hard. Um, 2021 is only going to be up here from here, guys. Um, you know, we've gotten through some hard times. Who knows what the future is going to bring? Uh, but just keep a positive attitude. Um, and we're going to be here sharing videos. Um, really going to be focused on giving you guys content um, this year. I promised it in the past and I haven't delivered. And uh, it's something that I want to do for us, for our business, and also for our followers and our customers. So if there's anything you guys want to see, uh, comment down below, like, share this video. I, it's not much, you know, really exciting. It's just kind of a me rambling on. Uh, but if there's anything you guys want to see, 
love to go through and show you guys some animals. Uh, if there's genes that you guys like, uh, comment down below. Um, if we have them in our collection, we'll do a thing on them. If we don't have them in our collection, we'll definitely go and kind of show you our thoughts on them. With the reptile industry, do what you love. Don't chase people. Find something that you're passionate about. Follow it. Be the best at it. Have that mind and you'll be successful because every time you come into your room and you open up your tubs or open your cages, you're going to see stuff that you love. You know, that's that's the biggest uh, piece of advice I can give anybody. You open up a tub and you see, like, whoa, that's, that's a gorgeous animal. You want that on every tub you open. You're going to take the time. You're going to feed it. You're going to clean these stuff. You know, do what you love. Don't chase fads. Don't chase what's popular. Don't chase, you know, other people. Do your vision. See what you do. You know, a lot of the stuff we're going to have is going to be, you know, same as some other people, but take it your own way. You know, do what you want to do. So, a little piece of advice. Sorry for rambling on. Um, big thing, too, is uh, I don't know if you guys have seen our Instagram or our Facebook, but uh, in 2018, I think it was. Yeah, it was 20. It was 2018. No, it was 2019. Um, I apologize on that. Um, we got an Asian water monitor, uh, Blue. He is growing big. Um, we started building him a cage right before Jameson was born. I had a week where my wife was off um, before for maternity leave. And I went to the store, bought all the stuff. I was going to build this miraculous cage. And it's in the garage. I mean, it's coming. It's going in the house this weekend. Uh, this Sunday, I'm going to be filling up the bottom part. It's six feet long, six feet tall, uh, uh, 36 inches deep. It's a good size. It's not going to be his forever home. He's going to outgrow it. <laughs> By the time I get it in, I'm going to have to build him something else. Um, but it's really exciting. It's something that I've watched YouTube videos um, of how to do this. But the bottom part is uh, 22 inches tall, 32, 36 inches deep, of course. And the, you know, the six feet long, and it's an aquarium. It's got a glass viewing panel. Uh, he's gonna have right above that, he's gonna have a big platform that he can lay out with 400 watt uh, heat lights and that are gonna warm a shelf. That's all dry locked and everything. It'll have tile sitting on top with a thermostat kind of in between the tile covered um, with grout. That way he can't tear it up. Monitors are super destructive when it comes to seeing stuff. They wanna pull it and yank on it. And he's he's been a joy. Um, he's been, just a huge part of us and our collection but that cage is coming in this house this weekend you guys are gonna see it we're gonna film it and uh i'm nervous so all right you guys much to come um if you guys see like i said anything you guys want to see shoot it down below hope your 2021 is awesome let's get let's only make it better guys